and again about the degradation of the Russian military industrial complex. How quickly can Russia recover its losses in equipment, especially tanks, and how many new tanks can it produce? The question is very interesting indeed, although a bit incorrect, because there is practically no production of new tanks in Russia. For example, the last production T-72 and T-80 tanks were produced in 1998. The last production T-90 left the assembly line in 2011. Since then there has been no serial production of tanks. All modern Russian tank production is fake. In most cases they are taken out of storage, which are brought back to serviceable condition and upgraded. That is, the tank industry now in Russia is not production lines, and repair. In turn, this has led to degradation of production lines of the same T-72 tanks. Over 25 years, as such, they have been disassembled, sawn up, and disintegrated. For example, the production of the T-72 requires 15,000 technological processes to work. Most of them are long gone. To ensure the production of the new T-72 tank 6,500 molds are needed. More than half of them have been lost or melted down. Russia will not be able to produce new tanks for decades, and therefore will not be able to recover losses from the war in Ukraine with new products. Unless they will be restoring T-54-55 and T-34 tanks. They also have a number of difficulties with repairing tanks and BMP-3s in the field. For example, the T-90M has revealed regular defects in the remote gun mount and panoramic commander's sight, which cannot be repaired in the field. Also, the lack of ability to start the diesel generator set without leaving the tank creates certain difficulties. The T-72 and T-80 tanks also were found to have problems with the internal commutation and control equipment. It would seem that, well, took and reinstall, but everything is not easy, because it is necessary to carry out a reinstallation of software blocks. Before I continue, I ask you to subscribe to my channel, it will help to promote it. In general, almost the entire line of Russian machinery upgraded over the past 10 to 15 years has shown serious problems with electronic equipment. One of the reasons for the problems is poor compatibility of the prevailing old Soviet circuits and foreign elements. Low reliability of old Soviet components also affects the performance of foreign components and their characteristics. And sanctions and shortage of foreign components do not allow timely replacement and repair even in factory conditions. This explains why the latest modifications of T-80 and T-72 tanks have disappeared, for example, Sosnyu scopes, instead of which more primitive sites were installed. I'm not insinuating anything, but the T-54, T-55 and T-62 are devoid of all these high-tech devices for observation and fire control. What could be better than a good old T-54, instead of all those capricious and defective T-80, T-72 and T-90M breakthrough? Of course, only T-34, Stalin's quality. It looks like the Russian military industrial complex could use some Viagra to restart tank production. Maybe they should go to Pfizer instead of relying on old Soviet technology. I'm wrapping up for today, but I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. You can support us by subscribing to our channel.